Hey everybody, it's your old pal Brian Hunt. Welcome to another episode of 60 Seconds of Risk. And today we're going to do an examination of a financial ratio that you should probably know about as far as respects to if you're managing a firm or even your investments to make sure that you actually get a good rate of return considering the risk that you're engaging in. And so what we're going to talk about today is return on equity is ROE. So basically what that is comes down is your return on equity is your net income divided by your owner's equity. And what this is reflecting is how efficient is the management or the ownership using its operations and specifically owner's equities and set your ownership, your assets, which you own in the company. Basically, how efficiently are you using your equity to generate profits? And so it is net income divided by owner's equity. And so in this example here, I've got 15,000 in profit being divided by $100,000 in owner's equity. So right off the bat, you're getting 0.15 ratio, which you convert that into percentage, you're getting 15% return on your operations, which sounds pretty good. And the thing is though, we want to compare that to other ratios to see what is it coming in line. And specifically, if we go back to some prior videos, we talked about the risk-free rate. The risk-free rate is in essence, you know, what is that asset, what is that uh, asset I can invest in that I'm pretty much guaranteed to get my return on and feel comfortable knowing that I can sleep at night, not lose my money. Well, pretty much at this point, the US dollar is the fiat currency and treasuries are considered sort of like the risk-free return. And a good standard for that is currently the 10-year rate on the US treasury, which is sitting at about 4.3%. So you could actually take your money, put it into a treasury and knowing that you're gonna get your money back, that's the risk-free rate. So what you want to see when it comes to return on equity is a rate that is not only higher than the risk-free rate, but you want to see a rate that's actually that reflects the actual risk you're taking. Because if this is risk-free, you want this rate, if it's a more speculative operation, which there is inherently a lot of risk in running an operations or running your business is risky, you really want to see this ratio well exceed the risk-free rate. Because if you don't, then the question is, why are you putting all this time and effort in risking your return on your investments if you can sleep at night getting a better rate of return? So again, return on equity, net income divided by owner's equity, gets you the ratio. We want to see if your return on equity, a rate at least say between 15% and 20%, because again, if you're really putting everything on the line, it's kind of a risky speculation or it's just an inherently risky business like it is running any business is risky you want to see a nice rate of return because if you could put it in a treasury and get 4.3 percent and if this number is similar or less than then you got to question whether or not the operation be run efficiently okay so like all things guys i hope you found this investment uh, sorry this topic helpful if you want to see a certain individual or topic on my show please post a note on linkedin or send me a message you can also subscribe to my channel youtube to find these videos you can also find the links on the website formerly known as Twitter and Substack. Until next time, everybody.